to open in prayer, we have Celia. Good morning, everyone. Let's bow and have a prayer for the opening of Senior Sandfest. Of Sandfest, I'm sorry. Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us here today. Uh, we have the media house. We, God bless. Thank you, dear God, for bringing them here. Thank you for gathering us here at the San Fernando Arts Council Creative Arts Center, dear God. Guide us and protect us. Let us share our knowledge. Let us share our determination. Let us share our, our anxiety, dear God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And welcome. This is the first, hopefully, of many NGC Sandfest Meet the Press. My name is Sherrod Mason. I'm the festival director for 2018. And I say welcome. Welcome to the members of various media houses, as well as a representative from our main sponsor, National Gas Company of Trinidad and Tobago, AFIA. Welcome. The purpose of this meeting this morning is to have a discussion on NDC Sandfest. What is the NDC Sandfest? Right? Well, I keep going back and forth. The National Junior Arts Festival is a national competition for talented primary and secondary school students. It is an activity endorsed by the Ministry of Education as well as the Department of Creative and Festival Arts, DCFE. Sorry? the University of the West Indies at St. Augustine. Sanfest it was founded by the Stanford Arts Council and has been ongoing since 1970. It has served as a primary stage experience for some of the nation's top performing artists, including Marsha Montano, Joan Forster, Shilma Andrews, to name a few. Right? This year's theme for the festival, Be Different, Be You, embracing all that is good within the cultural, emotional, and intellectual e elements of our students. We are unique people, diversified, strong, and proud. We can boast of one of the richest history and the most cosmopolitan cosmopolitan makeup of any island in the Caribbean, right? So that is just a brief synopsis of what is happening with Sanfest. Now, our goals of the festival is to encourage and nurture and embrace the performing and visual arts within the schools, to encourage greater participation in the arts by students of these schools to provide experience that will assist in the holistic development of the students throughout the country. All right? So I say thank you for being here this morning and accepting the invitation. Um, what we want from the media houses, all right? Um, over the years, we have not had the support um, from most of the media houses. I guess we will leave it down to communication. Um, this year we open the communication and inviting the media houses to take part and work hand in hand with Sandfest. And we're here today to get the feedback from you all in how to do this the right way. Okay? Um, one hand does not clap. And we invite you all today to get the feedback and to also hear our side of what we're making different this year to improve the festival as we go along. Um, so why start off with saying, hopefully this is the first of many, right? Um, on this table this morning, we have some of the members of the theme this year, the team this year. We have Ms. Clegorn, which is the treasurer. 
right? Miss Clegan has been part of Sandfest um, for many years. The invitation did go out to everyone to come on board with the new, um, new team. our new team this, um, this year for the festival. And also on my side, we have Risa. She's the secretary of the festival. And we have Lisette Regis, the assistant. Um, these are just some of the members. Unfortunately, because of the hour, some of us have eight to four to go to. So hence the reason why the whole team was not here today. Um, continue with the discussion. Um, you see this? Right. We have made some changes this year to the festival. Um, one of them being registering online, updating, bringing social media to the platform this year. So where the Dropbox used to have at each district, that is one of the first things we have taken out. So now everything can be done online. The syllabus can be found online, every information, registration done online, payment to the bank, one of the ways of moving forward. Um, hence the reason to we also want to get the media involved in a big way this year um, to help promote and push what is different this year for Sandfest, including the team that sits around us. Um, we also went out to each district this year to get the feedback um, from disgruntled people from over the years for Sandfest. Um, those who decided they did not come back to Sandfest, how to woo them back to Sandfest, and also the schools who have never taken part in Sandfest um, to become part of the festival this year. Um, hopefully, it will be the beginning of bigger and better Sandfest. And we also try to get Tobago involved this year. Unfortunately, um, they will not be taking part this year. Hopefully, we'll try again next year um, because we have been trying since January with, with back and forth correspondence to even went and had meeting face to face. Um, because of all the activities that they're having, um, hence the reason why they're not here this year. So hopefully um, next year that will change. Um, unfortunately this year when we took over, it was too early to make, um, well let's say early, for us to make the decision to move Sandfest up later. So which means having the preliminary round right across the country at the same time to ensure that more schools participate because one of the things that came out of the tongue meetings is too close for when school reopen for more schools to prepare because after the vacation the children will not retain the work the first week is to settle down the second week is to get the work started and then bam sandfest so what we plan um started this year with workshops to get more judges on board to have workshops earlier in the year so we can have the commitment of the judges, have incentment for the judges as well, and then start the festival in October instead of September, right? And then we'll have the schools more prepared for the festival. So right across the country, the preliminaries will run for three or four days, um, and then the finals begin. Um, Also, the Pan Jamboree will be bigger this year in the sense of the price. We have brought in Mr. Whitfield Weeks, Weeks, Mr. Whitfield Weeks, um, to be head of that Pan um, segment. We also increase the prize winning. Instead of having just one prize for primary, one for secondary, we have first, second, and third. And we start off with 3,500, 2,500, and 1,500, both in primary and secondary school and also pass the information on to the schools that they can have their department in each district help them with, what is it called? Transportation, the regional district. The regional district with transportation. So that that's a course that they don't have to incur um, every year and also get in touch with the buses to have them transport the children free to the event. So um, part of our ongoing process because it's as well as we are grateful for the main sponsor, we have to do the difference. We have to make up the rest. How we are doing this? We have some fundraiser ventures going on right now. Um, we have lunches at Cambole and Barbecue King that's finishing on the 30th. Um, we have a time frame for each of them. 
Um, also, we have a star card that brings in $500 in each card. We also have a raffle that's going to be out and, and door sales. So we hope to woo the people in, help, hence the reason for the media, is so that for the events, we bring the public in. Um, the retired citizens of Trinidad and Tobago bring them out to have something to come and support the young people. Um, for many years, the halls have been empty and performing to their peers, and we have a floor plan this year that keeps the children out of the hall and bringing the paying customers. So um, the floor plan where they'll have waiting area, changing area, before and after performances so outside on the compound. So no cars will be allowed on the compound this year. Um, so we are trying to get the grounds of um, the church compound and Soong's car park so that they will park drop off the children and park in those compounds, right? Um, the floor plan made up of the tents and porta cools floorings so that if it rains, they wouldn't get their feet wet. Um, porta cools keep them cool within the tents. Male and female change room, waiting area before they perform, waiting area after they perform. One of the ways to improve on the festival. Um, anything that you all want to add that I left out? Okay, we have one logo that Instead of changing logo every year for Sandfest, we have branded where it's just one standard logo. So every year you see this logo, you know that it's Sandfest. So it's a permanent logo. So you know every year they change the logo with the theme. The logo will remain the same and the theme will change as it go along. Um, what again we have done pertaining to rebranding the festival and moving forward in a positive way. Excellence, really. Our teams, team. Yeah, deliver an excellence. You start to finish. All right. Um, add? Yeah, right. So what I'll do right now, before we open the floor to you all, um, greetings from our main sponsor, of fear representative from the main sponsor. I pass it over Morning, to you. Morning, everyone. You all hearing me, right? Okay. Um, so I just want to say NGC. <laughs> NGC is proud to once again partner with Sanfest and the San Fernando Arts Council to put on the festival. We are one of the long-standing partners and based on our CSR pillars, arts and culture is one of the main pillars and we give back to Trinidad and Tobago to the society by supporting the San Fernando Arts Council in putting on the Sanfest event. Now this year I want to commend the council for the digitizing of the festival itself, for the new and improved ways they are you know, implementing to improve participation and attendance at the festival. And that is something that we long for in all our partnerships where the groups could grow and they could become sustainable. So I just want to commend the committee, the council, and we hope to see you at the launch come September 13th. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So we're going to open the floor. This is short, short and sweet. Um, so that was, I didn't call her last name because it slipped me, Miss Figaro Kennedy. I do apologize for not using your last name. Um, so we're going to have questions from the floor. Anything that you all need to ask, need to vent, inception of, a, of the team and you all would have known what you like and dislike about it and what you like to see different. To there and you will see that it's updated so that's one of the ways that we have started with the social media all the facebook pages all the twitter pages and instagram 
Well, the team, we have a team of persons, besides Alet, that's responsible for that. So unfortunately, they're not here. So they're responsible for how the things are posted and how they, they put it out on the platform. They go through that procedure, right? They're responsible. No. No. Pertaining to, we have, they are in CDs, they are in DVDs. Well, they have been using yeah. footage. Mm -hmm. They have been putting up um, events and updating with past performances because also we are in charge of Mr. and Ms. Sanfes as well. So they've been creeping, creating hype for it depends on what is happening at the time. So when was the auditions for Mr. and Ms. Sanfes? That was pushed plenty. Mm -hmm. And now that the launch of the festival is coming up, that is now um, being pushed as well. Okay, but they have been posting it. So, Alan, there's a team of persons that have been doing that. Well, right, so I, and this was it. So, it depends on who, the contact that's on the pages. It have been on social media. So, um, what, I guess, you could, what, you friend everybody else? Be friends. Yeah. I understand what he's saying. I do, but I am on media. Mm -hmm. And I haven't seen anything. Okay. Right? So that is a very strong message to me as a, okay. as a photographer and for someone who has been involved in Sanfest for many years. Mm -hmm. I have archived for a few years of Sanfest when Jenny Lilias, former marketing manager, was at Sanfest, um, was working in Sanfest. And I have footage of a particular year of two or three years where I only missed one performance in an afternoon. There was one particular year I was here every day, all day. I have thousands of photographs of, of years of footage. Now I call someone who can see in the past to mention to them I have too much time to offer because I'm not aware of problems being involved as a as a, a person who supports the arts for a very long time. And the person who sat on the floor was like, what I was telling them was uh, no importance or consequence to them. And they actually sent me a letter asking me if I want to do or want to have a working relationship with NDC anymore. Or what you, what you call it, what you call, what you call it, like a financial agreement, which my time was really not even as tight when you want to call it. But nevertheless, I have photographs that customers even order and to date over five years and people from Southwest have not even paid for instance. Now I am talking about thousands of photographs of days of entertainment. I did this time the Southwest. I can repost all of the archives I have online. But I would need financial assistance to be able to do that because that would be time consuming and I would have to hire someone specifically to specifically do that to be able to push it. And I know for the Stifton and I are the only people that have archives in Sanders. And I can say that with full confidence because even when I was no longer here, the MGC photographers that, that we hired never came for the entire day, for the whole day. I know that for a fact. Right? So they could never say that they have an archive that I do. Sadly, I would like to find out with those people who own me for pictures that I've done if they would ever come forward. And also, as someone who's, who has been trying to push the arts in South Carolina. The schools are not interested because the 
ignorantly or the thoughts of people are that as far as take you anywhere. There are many young people right now that want to get involved in the arts, but they are told that the arts can't carry you anywhere, and their parents are not allowing them, or the schools are not supporting them. So what are we to do to support those creative people, young people that we have in particular? I came to so many performances here and saw such great entertainment, and nobody to see it. Really, no, nobody, not even the parents. And that should really say that the schools need to be more involved. Class students and the various schools or parents, teachers, associations. And the media itself, yes, they are a part, but the media is not going to focus on this because this is not their agenda. The agenda of the media is to cover crime and what's going on in the country. What is positive is not what the media focuses on. They put one picture or two pictures of, of something that we could have. Right? But that can't be enough for the amount of entertainment that's provided. You have to have someone who's, who's here for everything. Or if that person for some reason can't be here, you have someone to replace that person to ensure that that nothing is on stage and not being recorded. Photography or videography. So thank you very much for that. I want someone to say you on Facebook. A private photographer. Uh, thank you very much. Discipline of the arts to facilitate the winners of competition with scholarships, for example, in vocal, so that they can continue their platform, whether it's in dance, whether it's in drama, whether it's in song. So those are some of the ways that also we're working towards the winners of the competition and also Mr. Miss Sanfest. And for example, the winner of Mr. Miss Sanfest this year, because we put it in place, that to promote them after the show. So they have activities to go to and they also re get rewards from their performances. So we're not being taken advantage of them, nor John Public. So if they go to perform and represent their art, they are being paid for it. And they are the ones going to get that from it. We are just there as the um, provider to ensure that it's done properly for them to benefit from it. Yes, yeah, the Hannah Bullion. Uh, okay. Um, this is not for the This is not a speaker. Districts, yeah. Well, each coordinator, each coordinator for the district will organize it. And hence the reason for today's meeting to give you all the information and to see how you all can fit it in or okay. assist in any way with those what you have you will get the itinerary for the whole festival. Best Village 
hands and face problem for the past come in this business, 15 years. I always come and quarrel about it because it's a, it's a, it's a gem but I'm the best kid in secret. You understand? And, and it's easy to sell. Any one of these students who playing, beating a drum, or singing, they're too busy to pick up a gun. And just sell it like that. You know what I mean? Sell it to the powers that be like, hey, you doing something here that keeps your children out of trouble. You understand? And it shouldn't be good, it shouldn't be an agency alone. It should be other people. You know what I mean? So don't put that as a box in the middle of the will have a greater reward and be more motivated to take part because one of the reasons to, from our town meetings is that the cost factor attached to preparing the students to come to the festival because most of the times they're not given anything by the school nor the parents nor the business community right so sometimes the teachers have to take from their pocket to deal with it So for all the Facebook pages, the handle is NGC Sandfest. So once you punch in NGC Sandfest, you will find the information that you're looking for. Right? Any questions again? I just want to add to a couple of things that you
and we kept it as from we brought up all the um, logo that have been used over the years and the majority voted for this right so we just decided to keep it as the permanent um, any more questions thank you very much for your feedback hi morning any questions anyone And secondary, secondary and secondary school for for, for the pan. pan. That's for the pan. For pan. pan. That's for the pan. pan yes. Jamboree. Pan jamboree. We also increase the um, cash prizes for all categories over two persons in choirs, dance groups. Um, we also added vouchers. For example, if a choir may win, um, we'll get to redeem a voucher. Say maybe get a bowl to cloth or. Something that will help them offset the course in that department, whatever discipline. They might get a voucher to go and collect um, a music for go to a music shop to help the department. So that's one way of assisting with. We also have for the pan jamboree, we have the biggest posse, the biggest flag, you know. So all these to create hype. And we also have a category for the most. Um, voted for a teacher. Yeah. Voted. Teacher. The budget for this year? $650,000. So. $650,000. So if you, um, if you all want to give a donation, you're welcome. We have tickets on sale for the lunches. <laughs> And stop ads, five dollars a stop. All right. Um, so if you all can help with the preliminaries of getting the hashtag support in the Facebook page, will be appreciated so that it can get out there. All right. The, the handle. The, the handle. handle is NGC Sandfest for all the different sites: the Instagram, for Twitter, and the Facebook page. All right. So. Yes. Well, we're in the process of organizing the pre-sale tickets to go to the schools. Risa will be able to speak on that. Okay, at each venue. And that's for them. You have to speak louder for them to hear. Hi, good morning. I'm Risa Joseph. Regarding the pre-sale tickets, they'll be available at the office. Schools will be schools who would like to attend the preliminaries and the finals would call and say well i am bringing 20 students we would send out the tickets to the schools and then we'll be selling tickets at the door as well for all venues anything else oh and this year our honorees are mr winston bramble who was the past festival director and Austin Super Blue Lions. Right? And they for the pan they will be playing one of his songs.
anything else? We'd like to welcome the Assistant Secretary, Ms. Sutherland. Stand up. Yes. This is a... And she's also, she's also, she's also a coordinator. Okay, with regards to Mr. and Ms. Sanfes, this year we are starting with 15 male, 15 female for the preliminary round. Each round will eliminate, the first round will eliminate five, so we'll go down to ten, and then the, the semi-finals will eliminate three. Two, sorry, it will go down to seven, right? Um, Mr. and Ms. Sanfes, we have the prelims on the 23rd of September, the semi-finals on the 14th of October, and the finals on the 4th of November. All will take place here at the center. Though we have outgrown our space, we are trying to keep it home. Charity begins at home, so we must stay at home, right? The show will be fantastic this year. Those of you who were not privy to last year's show, it was excellent. The feedback coming back out of last year's show was superb. So we, we continue in the same trend with um, presentations this year because our focus is tourism. Students will have to research natural landmarks throughout the country and then present on the night of finals in a manner selling the landmark that they, are, they have researched, as right? As probably a television announcer, a air hostess, something creative. We're just trying to change the entire concept to one that is interesting. And to add, we have also changed Mr. and Ms. Sanfes as a tourism section, um, segment. So every year it will be dealing with tourism. So we started with the young people to change the mindset and dealing with service. So last year we did characters, four ca characters, four characters and carnival characters. Um, this year we deal with landmarks. So every year it will deal with something with tourism in the country. Anything before we close? Question, Ms. Regis? Scheme. Thank you very much for doing it publicly. Um, <laughs> and also, we have plan one of the things that we plan to do is have um, a package of pre tickets. So, if you have season tickets, and those are the things that will be out as well. So, that breakdown will be also be given. So, if you be coming to a couple of shows, you will play less than if you just come into two or three shows, right? So that's the ladies and gentlemen. We have Miss Regis to do closing. All right, so we just want to thank everyone that came here today, all our media representatives. And we hope that this is a beginning or continuation of a partnership. 
we ask you to spread the word about our social media sites, NGC Sandfest. And in that way, as you said, the preliminaries isn't that um, exciting for the media, but for the finals, we, we do ask for your partnership and for you to be here to spread the word and spread the talent that we have here. And the difference of the command performance is here. So, we thank you. Afia Fagaro Kennedy, Public Relations Officer at NGC. Lucette Regis, Assistant Festival Director. Sherrod Mason, Festival Director, 2018 Sandfest. Risa Joseph, Festival Secretary, National Junior Arts Festival, 2018. Lydia Clegon, Treasurer, Junior Arts Festival Committee. 